Speak Easy Studios. Speak and be heard. Have you ever walked into a house or building and wonder how it was designed? Or look at your own home and wonder how you can improve it? My name is Kathleen Garrido with KG Interior Design. This podcast is for experienced designers, those new to the industry, and people that just want to improve their own homes. We will discuss tips and insights for all of your design needs. Hi, I'm Kathleen Garrido and welcome back. A few things I want to talk about today is a lot of clients will say, well, how do you work, Kathleen, when we hire you? So for a pretty big, decent project, whether it's furnishing, accessorizing, remodeling, I am there from start to finish. And so basically what I'll do is the client will call me up to set an appointment. We'll walk through the scope of work so I can physically take photos, measurements, and really take a look and see who you are and how you live in your space. So it gives me a general idea of how I'm going to start this project. And then uh, we'll walk through, you'll tell me in each space what you were thinking, what you would like to do. And then from there, I'll take all my notes. I always send, um, clients are like, well, how do you charge? Well, I charge based on the project and I'll always send you a proposal. You'll have that proposal and that proposal will never change unless the scope of work change changes. Meaning, let's say you add five more things to it, my hours might go up by a few more. So this way you at least know what my budget is and then we'll come up with a budget for furnishing and a budget for the construction part of it. And then I, we will start specifying, and specifying means either picking and selecting out materials, cabinetry, maybe it's specifying furniture. Uh, sometimes clients like to go shopping with me, which is a lot of fun. We have a, a good time. We go and have lunch and we walk through and select all the furniture that we need. Or sometimes I'll bring everything to you or send everything into a PowerPoint presentation so that you see kind of the general ideas for the spaces that I'm thinking, uh, whether it's the master bedroom, the living room, I'll put the sofa together with the artwork and the pillows and you'll get a general idea of what we're looking at as far as uh, the design part. And then once all the ordering and everything is complete or all the install as far as the cabinetry or the master bathroom and all of that stuff is complete, then um, we start doing the install. And from the install, we start bringing in all your accessories, all your furnishing, um, rugs, have the drapes installed, doors installed, whatever. If we decide to do some carpentry, we have all of that done. And then basically at the end, we do a walkthrough to make sure all the detail looks good, cabinetry looks good. If there's a punch list, maybe we need to go back and tweak or fix some things. And then at the end, you have a absolutely beautiful and stunning home. And that would be kind of the process of how I work with my company. And like I said, I'm really hands-on, so you get me from start to finish. As far as the communication between myself and my client, Sometimes my clients will go to the mall by themselves on a Saturday and they'll pick some things out that they really like and they'll kind of run it past me to see if those will work. Um, A lot of times when I'm selecting stuff, we'll do a Zoom call or I'll come to your home with the PowerPoint and we'll go through all the selections and kind of walk through the spaces to see how everything lays out. I think that's extremely important. I'm an over communicator. So when the general contractors installing cabinetry, countertops are going in. They communicate to me if there's any issues, they'll communicate to me when the installs are completed so that the homeowner, my homeowner's not being hit with several questions on decisions they might not be able to make. So a lot of my clients don't know how to make those decisions, so they'll ask me just to handle and project manage a lot of their kitchen remodels or bathroom remodels. And when the furnishing part comes in that we've selected, I am here for the install. So when the sofa comes in, the drapery goes up, I make sure everything is set up 100% perfect. So... A lot of times what happens is towards the tail end of a project, a lot of times when everything, all the cost is starting to go up, sometimes my hours get cut because we're trying to save money. But what happens is that's when decisions are made that I didn't see specifications for. So for example, there was a beautiful media center that I drew up for my client and she At that point, we were done with the project, but she went and modified it herself. 
And when the bookcase, the media center was all set up, the scale was wrong, the color on the backboard was incorrect, and the shelves were disproportioned. They shouldn't have been three inch shelves. They should have been about two or two and a half. They were just way too thick for the space. So there's so many times that I, clients will make decisions on big decisions without me. And the amount of time that they can save just by running something past me for 15 minutes, those little details would save them so much more money because what happens is then the clients are gonna have to rip out whatever they approved. They're gonna have to rip it out and then repay for it to be installed correctly. I even had an issue with um, this beautiful door that we were having installed and the client had picked everything out herself. All I was doing was specifying the tempered glass was discolored and discolored the color that was on the barn door. Now, again, my involvement was not 100% on that project. All I was asked to do was specify a color for one side of that door. But again, it's probably a door that's going to have to be replaced because when you look at how beautiful this space looked and then you look at this door, it just wasn't right. So I think it's so important to involve your interior designer on every single decision, whether it's big or small, just to make sure that when you get everything installed, you're completely 100% happy with everything. Thanks again for listening. If you could kindly give us some feedback or maybe some podcasts you'd like to hear in the future, that would be great. Until next time. 